right down my time here. The NFL schedule will be released at 7 p.m. God's time on Thursday, May the 7th. The first four weeks, per John Clayton, uh, he was on 93.7 in Pittsburgh earlier today. The first four weeks will be all NFC versus AFC games. And what that means, basically, and they haven't done this before from what I understand, the first four weeks, Pittsburgh, this year, it is their rotation to play against the AFC East. So, so the AFC North is playing the AFC East. Sorry, NFC East. Excuse me. Well, NFC. Yeah, AFC yeah. North is playing the NFC East. Right. Yes. So the, the Steelers' first four weeks this year will be against the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Redskins, and the Giants. Yeah, same will be for the Browns, same will be for the Ravens, same will be for the uh, Bengals. Right. So, so the reason that they are doing this, I'm going to assume, and you and I both, I think, agree on this. We talked a little bit off the air about this, is because the games don't really mean anything. Right? They don't mean as much. Right, right. They don't mean as much. They they still mean something. Obviously, your final record is what it is. But right. it's not worth as much for ticket sales. It's not worth as much. Necess- well, I mean, good gracious, you got the Steelers and the Cowboys. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, you're, you're hoping that by September you have fans in the stands, right? So... If you do have these big I don't, time, I don't think they care about any of that stuff. I think it's 100% can we make the playoffs? On the field tiebreakers. I think to playoff seeding and tiebreakers are always going to be division first, conference second, and and that's that's it. That's just how it's going to always work and we're we're assuming we're not going to get much of a spring training. We're assuming that preseason or a, is a fall be, camp, right? Yeah. Yeah, a fall camp, very short. It's already they don't hit enough and they don't practice with pads enough anyway. So let's make sure the first four weeks, the damn sure not playing a divisional game. Cause those games basically equal two games yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, on the, on the record. And, uh, and, and if we can push conference games back, let's push them back. And it's just the easiest way to do it. We are, we already know what, what divisions are going to play one another in the crossover. So let's just make those the first four games of the season. And then we can move forward with everything else. Now, Michael jumped in I on Twitch. I think that's smart, by the way. Yeah, and Michael jumped in on Twitch. He said, thank goodness I hate the Raiders-Denver season openers. Uh, he said, Brady coming to Denver will be a big-ticket game. Um, yep. And then Tim Crosby jumps in on Facebook and said, uh, we'll be in Vegas, uh, Vegas Raiders against the Bucks, no matter what or when. Uh, well, I mean, a lot of that depends on whether or not they open it up to fans, right? So, yeah, that, yep. you're, you're going to get some really massive games – that, you know, it, if they don't open it up for fans, you know, there's still so much that has to be figured out right now. Good gracious. I can't wait to see what the schedule but looks like. But the NFL doesn't care about fans. They care about that television rating. So when the Cowboys and Steelers play, it's it, just going to do a monster number. It's going to be the late afternoon game, I can assure you, yeah. and they're only going to have one or two other games going on, and they're going to see to it. Those are two shitty games. Yeah, now you're you're probably right. Uh, I mean, they I, do it every year. The Cowboys match up. Like last year, they did the same thing with the Cowboys and the Packers. Yeah. They, they just – an opportunity to have a monster number. Let's just have a monster number, and it was them and one other game in that late game series. Oh, yeah. And, and – I, I'll tell you this: This fall, if the NFL is playing on time, it is going to be absurd. Like the yep. ratings are going to be astronomical. Uh, yes. <laughs> Matt said, "I miss going to games and drinking twelve dollar beer." Yeah, twelve dollar beer always tastes a little bit better than a five dollar beer. You know. Yeah. Um, so it, Tim said, "What about the? Uh, what do you think about the first uh, fifteen thousand in the stand? Oh no, the fins fifteen thousand in the stand. So this was an interesting concept, uh, and we'll toss this into this uh, before I get to my other question about the schedule." Um, Miami brought up an idea of possibly, maybe allowing only 15,000 people in at a time and you would reserve your time to enter the stadium. And if you're wanting concessions, you, you place an order like through an app or whatever, and then you are allotted a time to go pick it up. And they need to move it concessions to an app anyway. They yeah, they just yeah. need to hire a lot more people to bring you and basically it be waiter service. That's yeah. that's the way all concessions need to go. But every game I've ever gone to, I don't like leaving the game. I don't like leaving my seat 
forever. I'm like a camel. I never have to pee. I agree. And I just want to hunker in and never move. And the fact that I have to leave and then time it right. And ho- so I either wait in line forever or I miss a big part of the game to go grab something because the line's shorter. We live in a world where there's no reason for me not to pull my phone out, pull an app out, buy my food, and 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes later, somebody shows up with it. There's yeah. no reason we don't live in that world right now. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Now, they're uh, not talking about doing that. They're talking about ordering your food and then, and then you go like, pick it up. I'm telling you when it's ready and then you go pick it up so nobody else is around. Why not just have somebody bring it to you? I'm yeah. just, come on. Let's bypass this whole, let me miss the game and run up there. You know, that's just insane to me. And I've just created jobs. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. You just created some jobs. And it's not like, I mean, these are minimum wage kind of jobs. But No, but dude, when I was a kid, if you were if you were 17 years old right now in Hollow Branch High School and you could have gone to the FedEx Forum to deliver food to folks in the middle of, you know, for a basketball season, wouldn't that have been the best job ever? <laughs> Just wanted to say hi to McKinnon. <laughs> that was my wife for anybody that doesn't know. But uh, wouldn't that have been the best job ever? Oh, 100%. 100%. I mean, yeah. I, I would have done it at Grizzlies games. I would have done it, you know, wherever. So I, Anywhere I, I could. Yeah. Anywhere I could. I, I think that's a, a fantastic On way to go On Sundays, back. I'd have driven up to Nashville just to, just to work for Sunday and driven back. <laughs> Michael said, uh, first off, uh, you have to pregame. Can't buy those stadium beers. Then he said, "Do fifteen thousand people go watch the Fins anyway?" It, yeah, it's a, it's about. It, <laughs> McKinnon said, "Hey Jess, there you go." <laughs> the pro the problem uh, you get to is 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 because I'm actually okay with this. I like this idea of saying, "Hey, we hold sixty thousand people, and how many how many folks are like you've got to find a way to do it where it's." Nobody goes to a game by themselves. Okay. Yeah. Of course. So like, if if a family of three go to a game then you don't have to stay six feet apart. You live together. You yeah. came together. It's okay. Yeah. So I think there's a way to get 25, 30,000 people in this place and be safe. I really do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tim Crosby, again, on Facebook said, valet food service, that's a great idea. Like, yeah, I agree with you, Chris. I think that's a great idea. Uh, my uh, Matt said, I agree with Michael. I think they are really hopeful on that number of 15,000. And then Matt said, just take a sip of beer off the top. By the end of the night, you're too drunk to use power tools. Yeah, 100%. Um, let's, uh, let's jump off of that. Let's stay in the NFL for a second and stay on the NFL schedule. I am curious about this. I'm, I'm curious your top or your, uh, your ideas on it. I think the league is going to put less primetime games in California and New York this year because obviously they, they schedule out you know Thursday night, Monday night, da 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 and you always have, you know, the teams in Cali and the teams in New York, like the Giants and the Jets, on Monday Night Football. You always do because it's a massive media market. I don't think they are going to have them on those nights because I don't think that they are going to be ready to allow fans, and I think that some other states are going to be able to allow fans. I think the Texans and the Cowboys, et cetera, you know, by October, somewhere around there, I think they're going to be letting fans into the stands. I think it's going to change the schedule. Do you feel the same way? I don't I don't know. I think if we don't get a, a game in New York, it's strictly because both those teams are just trash and nobody wants to watch them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it hasn't mattered in the past. And then you can still the have a New York team playing all Monday night football to get all those eyeballs and have them playing in Dallas or in one of the other – teams yeah. or whatever, one of the other places. So I also don't think this, I'm going to tell you, this is the truth, man. And you can disagree with me or not. If one team can't have fans because of their rules, no team's going to have fans. That's just it. They're not going to say you can go to Cowboy stadium and they get a home field advantage. But when we have to play in MetLife stadium, there is no fans. That's not going to happen. I assure you of that. It is just like the headset rule, man. If your headset goes down on one side, then both the other team has to take their headset off. And that is just the way we're going to get this, Gary. You can say the governors can do whatever the hell they want. That's fine. The NFL is ruled as an equal line across the board. Well, I'm That's just the, I'm, they do it. the reason I'm curious about this is, you know, that it's it, if you look at the revenue that is brought in through ticket sales, uh, last year, it was over $3.2 billion 
in in ticket sales alone. That's that's I, I'm going to disagree with that number right there. That's got to be stub up and stuff like that. That is that is not what these NFL teams make off of the ticket sales. No, 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 for the for all 32 teams for the entire season. I'd be shocked. That that's that's insane. Really? That, that I don't. I don't. Yeah. That's maybe insane. it was a maybe also, it was a crazy number. Also, think of the overhead for that three point two billion dollars too, because now you've got concession workers, you've got all security, you've got all of these extra things that you're paying for that you won't have. Right. So, well, here, okay. So let me let me kind of wrap this into what I was thinking here. My my thought process is: you let the the places that can have fans have the fans. You let them do it. And the other ones don't, but you split that ticket revenue. They don't care about the revenue, Gary. It's about competitive balance. You're telling me the NFL doesn't care about revenue? Uh, no, I mean, that's I'm telling you that they don't it. care about ticket sale revenue. I don't know, man. I, like I, The I, television money is so ridiculous, they don't give one hot damn about ticket sale yeah, revenue. Yeah, I mean, it, regardless of whether they sell a ticket or not, they're all in the black. It wouldn't matter. So, I mean, the TV. They care about the television revenue, and the only way, and they're the smartest league out of all of them, the only way to keep that TV money up is you've got to have competitive balance. You you cannot have a team that has a great home field advantage atmosphere, and then the other team has to play in in, in an empty stadium for their home crowd. Now, if they can't draw fans, that's on them but at least they have the opportunity to do both, okay? That's a good point. Just, just like you get to draft first if you're terrible. If you draft poorly, that's on you. We at least set this thing up to where you get to pick before the other guys get to pick. I'm going to tell you, if my headset goes out, they make you take your headset off. They yeah. care about competitive balance because they understand that's why they have the fandoms that they have. And that amount of money, see, you do this, you say, you know, they don't care about revenue. They care about revenue. What revenue do they care more about? Television revenue or, or, or you know, uh, or ticket, ticket revenue? I mean, you, you got to Because they don't give point. a shit about tickets. They don't give one damn about tickets. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing where you're coming from. I, I'm curious which direction they'll end up going on it because, I, I mean, it is a lot of money. Like, we can sit and talk about how it's not, but it, it's, like, it's not substantial compared to television, but it is money. Um, let's go ahead and hit some of these comments right quick because it, it took off when we started talking about this. Uh, ben said, uh, don't they want to show off SoFi Stadium? Well, I mean, it, does it matter if there's no fans there? I mean, it, yeah, they want to show it off, but I, I mean, who knows? I, I don't even know if they're going to finish that thing. Like, I, I mean, who knows? Uh, Michael Fritz said, I heard rumors that Newsom might shut down live sports until 2021. Uh, Matt said, uh, do like Atlanta and, and just pump in crowd noise. <laughs> That's... Well, we bashing on the Falcons. We we got to talk about them in the draft here in a little bit. Uh, Michael said, a buddy of mine is a Rams season ticket holder. He said, no updates from the Rams. Uh, Matt said, look at what Trolls 2 did to movie theaters. $100 million, and now movie companies are rethinking uh, releasing. Even the Academy Awards are changing to allow non-theatrical releases. Yeah, I mean, it's it's all based on at-home entertainment, right? It, I mean, if we want to talk about movie theaters... You and I talked last week about the fact that AMC theaters are banning Universal Studios pictures. Well, now it's not just shown. AMC. It was another theater group as well. Yeah. I mean, it's it's happening all over the place. But I don't think it's going to affect these movie studios because they are still going to make astronomical numbers. Like, yeah, I think they'll make still more make numbers. make a lot of money. Yeah. That's, this, I'm telling you, the league is not going to allow a, a team to have a home field advantage and then and then another team you know, basically in a divisional game situation. Let's let's the Cowboys and the and and the Giants is perfect. Yeah. You know, Washington. What what if the Cowboys are the only one and Philly doesn't open up and Washington doesn't open up and the Giants don't open up? Do you think there's any way on earth the league is going to say, okay, it's fine for the Cowboys to play three divisional games and have a shitload of fans in there, but when they go on the road. They don't, they don't have to play have to against worry any about fans. crowds at all. Yeah. That is not going to happen. It's just not. You you have a very strong point here. I'm uh, I'm with you. I'm I'm curious to see what they'll do. I, you may be right. You may be right. I I'll did be, not think, think of that this, aspect. I'll of be it. shocked if they allow that to happen. And I think a lot of a lot of owners are going to fight like hell because it's not the owner's fault. Listen, these owners 
are in these big cities because that's just where they bought a team. That's how it's worked out. But they don't have much control over what these governors are doing. No, all right? of course not. They just don't. No, you're right. McKinnon said, hey, now the dirty birds are dirty for a reason. Rise up. Yeah, I, I know how you Falcons fans are. Let's uh, let's talk a little more college football right quick. Uh, 